just because the week is winding down does not mean you can take even a second off for all of the totally awesome things that are happening here in our island community. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. I'm Jason Salas. This is KUM News Extra. And if you're watching us on TV8 or streaming us on YouTube, we do appreciate it because we are getting started with a truly island institution. It is the Jeep Jungle Re-Event for Jeep enthusiasts. And there are many, many of them. We have two of the foremost on island right now. Jen and Brandon from Cars Plus. Yeah. Hafadé, guys. Hafadé, Jason. Right. Hafadé, Guam. And congratulations for having yet another Jungle Re-Event. Thank you, know, you. Truly, for people that own a Jeep, and most people on Guam do at some point, or they, they yeah. know someone in their family who does, this is a really big time. It is. It is. It's been a few years, and we we get the requests every year to put it on. We get a lot of we get a lot of enthusiasts that come out and ask us when's the next one. So I think this one's going to be our biggest yet. A lot of pent up demand, pent up energy from these Jeep owners. So we're looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Now, Brandon, yeah. the Jungle Re event for people that may be new to the island and everything mm -hmm. like that. People are like, oh, I've got a Jeep. You know, I transferred in the military. My Jeep's coming over and like over on the ship and it'll be here in a few weeks. Explain exactly what type of exhibits does Jeep Junglery have every year? Because it's not just a particular type of Jeep owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the type of exhibits that we'll have for Jeep Junglery, it's not even necessarily, I mean, anyone can come. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you have to own a Jeep to come to the Jeep Junglery. I mean, you can come and spectate. And you see can appreciate what, or participate. <laughs> definitely, and you can see what Jeep is all about. Uh, we're gonna have tons of events. I mean, we're gonna have like the mud drags, show and shine. We're even gonna have these little RC, displays so all the guys that are into jeep rcs are going to be there they're going to have their setup right there too those we're are have remote controls yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. sometimes it's crazy because they even put these little guys in and they're steering the steering wheel mm -hmm. when they're turning and we'll also have the flex ramp so we can see how much your jeep can flex but it's just going to be a fun filled event i mean it's going to be dynamite well you guys know this better than anybody on the island because you are the jeep yes. distributor yes. here on Gua. yes jeeps are probably I mean, I know, you know, like the import model crowd maybe yeah. may argue, but Jeeps are probably the most modded vehicle yes. like we have on Guam and everything like that. People are doing all sorts of things to them in really, really cool ways. So how can, how can we actually celebrate that? Okay. Well, I think we are going to have categories. Brandon mentioned the show and shine. Yes. So we are going to have some really fun categories where you can win prizes and win some trophies. So we're going to have judges out there, judges that know what modifications are, what they look like, some of the best ones. You're going to see everything from an award for the beefiest Jeep, the most customized. You're, you're going to see just a number of uh, Jeeps come out that you won't typically see on a regular day. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, Brandon, I know some Jeep enthusiasts, they say, you know, um, I've, spent, I've been up all night polishing every mm -hmm. single oh, square sure. centimeter <laughs> of chrome. And then there are other Jeep enthusiasts who believe, you know, the dirtier the better because that's a badge of honor in itself. Yeah, for sure. I mean, some guys take really big pride on keeping their Jeeps just muddy and yeah. then there's some guys where they use one armor all for one tire yep. so you know you have you have the two types of jeep owners you know some of them rather just lift it and put all the nice stuff and drive it on the road i mean the, i think the worst thing they go over is like a speed bump and then mm. we have the ones that are i mean really into the whole off-roading scene and they go up to channel 10 or wherever they go off-roading here but i mean it's it's incredible of the type of owners that you see with jeeps okay do we have any idea how many jeep owners there are on guam right now oh, do you gosh. guys keep any stats there's hundreds um it'd be hard to say because there are a lot that we do get in on the military community mm -hmm. so a lot of uh, the military community ships their jeeps to guam and we see a lot of them come through they still come to us for service they come to us for some modifications and we are expecting to see a really big turnout this weekend uh, we are uh, having some partnership together with the 734th squadron from air force nice. so i think that's going to be a different touch to this year's jeep jungle re as as well as the guahan jeeps guahan jeeps is a wonderful group of jeep enthusiasts jeep owners and um, they are gosh they have well over 130 members i believe and that's just <laughs> members that's a so big car club yeah. it is it's, yeah. it's a big group and i think being able to see the military owners the military jeep owners come together with the local Jeep owners, it's going to be wonderful. They're mm -hmm. going to get to see who did what with their Jeeps and what you can do. Then there's no mm -hmm. chippiness, right, Brand? There's no like, okay, well, you know, we grew up here. You guys are coming from the yeah. states. Oh, no. It's all, it's all respect. I mean, it's is, all love. Right. This is like a nationwide thing. I mean, even yeah. everyone that comes from off I don't even know what a Jeep wave is. Mm -hmm. So when a Jeep owner passes a Jeep owner, I mean, everyone's waving. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's, it's a really good community to be in. Okay, it so is. now that we thoroughly whetted everybody's appetite, um, okay. if you are a participant and you haven't registered yet, how can you do so? And if you just want to come by and 
have your jaw on the floor because of yeah. all the cool stuff and everything. How, what time should we show up? Yes, well, you can pre-register at Cars Plus in Mighty. We have registration forms available. It is $20 to register for one of the events. So you can come for free, but if you want to enter your Jeep in the Adventure Trail, Show and Shine, or any of the competitions where you can win prizes, um, it is $20. And the proceeds from the $20 actually go back to the 734th Squadron's Booster Club, as well as Guanghan Jeeps. Nice. Okay, so if we just want to go there and, you know, maybe bring the umbrella, mm -hmm. you know, have some, you know, have some, hang out with the family, do something really, really cool over the weekend, what time should we show up? Uh, well, we start at 12, and mm -hmm. then the event ends at 4, but... Yeah, so yes, 12 to anytime. 4. Yeah. 12 to 4 okay. this Sunday, May 27th. Okay, and where do we need to go so people that are all firing up Google yes. Maps right now so they can yes. make sure to mark it? Get to the Guam International Raceway, that's in mm -hmm. Jigo. And uh, from 12 to 4, Guam International Raceway. All right. Thank you, guys. Yep. Yeah, and congratulations on another Jungle We cannot wait to see. Yeah. Let, let me just ask before we go, um, we'll start with you, Jen. What is your favorite type of Jeep? Oh, gosh. I'm. Because you've been in this business for a yes. while. I actually have a dream Jeep, and it is incoming right now. I'm waiting for that to arrive, and it's the Jeep, uh, the Jeep Wrangler Sahara. And it's going to be the JL, the new JL model. Nice. Yeah. Of course, you would pick JL because it's your name. <laughs> at, at least. I didn't even think about that. At least yes. one of the initials. In it, yes. yeah, that, that's a nice little monograph. There you to go. Have. I like that. All right, how yeah. about you, Brent? I would say a Jeep Rubicon JK. JK that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Well, how's it go? One that'll be the one. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, my favorite is the one with like the removable top. You just yes. like on a nice Sunday afternoon, just mm -hmm. take that, just top. stroll around and everything. Yeah. Island breeze. That's, yes. that's a great way to spend a day. For it sure. is. It okay. Is. Okay. We can't wait to see you there. Thank yes. you. All right. Please stay tuned, everybody. We are back mm -hmm. right after this.